The history of Rome, which began as a myth, becomes the story of a great empire, a symbol of power and unity between different cultures. Over the course of seven centuries, a small village inhabited by shepherds and farmers became one of the greatest powers in history. Rome, the undisputed capital of the ancient world. Roads, aqueducts, forums, amphitheaters, cities, and frescoes. In this video, we will explore the entire history of Roman art. The history of Roman art can be divided into three major periods, monarchy, republic, empire. Let's proceed in order. According to legend, the city of Rome was founded on April 21, 753 BC. The city's location on the Tiber River was of great importance as it marked the border between the Etruscans and the Latins. At this time, it is not yet appropriate to speak of Roman art, but rather of artistic production in Rome. This art was characterized by the influence of the Etruscans, who were the dominant culture in the region at the time. The Romans were not particularly interested in art, preferring to focus on building a strong military and expanding their territory. In the time of Tarquinius Priscus, the fifth king of Rome, the city was transformed into a more sophisticated and organized community. During his reign, the city's first temple was built, dedicated to the Capitoline Triad. The sculptures that adorned the temple have been lost, but they are thought to have been similar to those of the Etruscans. Other important works of art from the Monarchic period include the Cloaca Maxima, a massive sewer system that still functions today, and the Sista Ficaroni, a copper jewelry box decorated with the myth of the Argonauts. Art in the Republican Period In 509 BC, the Etruscan civilization was in decline, and the seventh and last Etruscan king of Rome, Tarquin the Proud, was overthrown. With the separation from Etruscan culture, the Romans came into contact with the Greeks, who had colonies in southern Italy, culminating in the conquest of Magna Graecia, Hellenic Greece, Macedonia, and Asia Minor. In this period, we see the first works of art of Greek origin in Rome. Roman nobles loved to have these statues in their villas to the point that demand exceeded supply. This is where the first copies made in Rome were born. In particular, it was under the government of Scylla that the first signs of Roman art were noted, which developed originally in three main fields, architecture, portraiture, and painting. With the invention of Opus Caementicium, Roman concrete, a series of constructions began that have lasted to this day. A large network of roads was built, still in existence, that connected Rome to the most important cities of the time. Other works were built, such as bridges, tunnels, and aqueducts. With the expansion of Rome, there was no shortage of city constructions. These were built according to an orthogonal plan, based on the tracing of the two main axes of the Cardo and Decumano. In the center stood the Forum, an area that was the religious, commercial, administrative, and cultural center of the city. The most important of the time was the Imperial Forum of Julius Caesar. It was customary to make wax masks from the face of the deceased, to remember the loved one, and to serve as a warning to the younger ones. From the wax masks, we move on to marble busts. A type of realistic portrait was born, in which the features of the body are reproduced with great fidelity, including physical defects. Many examples of mural painting remain from the Republican era, especially that of Pompeii and Herculaneum, the cities submerged by the ashes of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. It was typical for a noble house to have every corner of the wall painted, from which a remarkable wealth of pictorial decorations derives. Art in the Imperial Period After a long period of expansionist wars, the long season of the Roman Empire began in 31 BC. On January 23, 27 BC, Octavian was proclaimed Augustus. His importance is also linked to the social, cultural, and artistic impulse he will give to Rome. Thanks to the Augustan peace, the economy flourished throughout the empire, and there was a massive building revival both in Rome and in all the conquered territories. In this period, Numerous triumphal arches were built, monuments built for the sole purpose of celebrating the victories and glories of the generals, therefore for propaganda purposes. The Arapasis was inaugurated in 9 BC, 
an altar to celebrate the peace and prosperity achieved with Augustus. The external walls are decorated with bas-reliefs. In the same years, Augustus completed the Marcello Theater, the Pula Amphitheater, and the Verona Arena. The Greek sculpture of the 5th century BC was recovered in the representation of the Roman gods and illustrious figures, including some emblematic portraits of Augustus, as Pontifex Maximus and the Loricato Augustus. Arts such as glyptics also spread, that is, the art of engraving gems and hard stones. After Augustus, from 69 to 180 AD, several emperors followed each other. Among them, we remember Vespasian, Titus, and Domitian, who built the Colosseum, the Arch of Titus, and the Porta Triumphalis. Trajan, who built the Trajan's Column to celebrate the victories in Dacia, the markets, and the Forum of Trajan, and resumed the production of sarcophagi decorated with bas-reliefs. Hadrian, an emperor passionate about Greek culture, built Villa Adriana. He also rebuilt the Pantheon with a perfectly hemispherical dome and the mausoleum, which today is called Castel Sant'Angelo. The Late Empire. After Marcus Aurelius, Commodus succeeded him in 192 AD. He brought to light all the institutional weaknesses of the empire giving rise to a period of severe political, economic, and social instability, which led to the crisis of the third century. The Roman Empire entered a declining phase called the Late Empire. Diocletian divided the empire into two at the end of the third century, east and west. In 313 AD, Constantine granted freedom of worship to Christians who began to build their own churches. From that moment, the Roman artistic tradition would merge into early Christian art. This journey has taken you to the discovery of art in the Roman Empire. There are many other things to say about it. Let me know what you think of the video, and if you want to see more similar ones, or insights on famous buildings, leave a comment.